Hey, you know something? You slam a five-hour energy and bump anthrax, and you freaking tell me what 922 feels like. It feels awesome. <laughs> anthrax if you need them, and I know I do. I'm going to say it again. You slam one five-hour energy and you bump anthrax, and you tell me how 923 AM feels. Feels like a quad, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Do not misrepresent what I'm about to say and do. For the record, so nobody gets this twisted or misconstrued or taken out of context. I love Philly Fan. Philly Fan's incredible. Philly Fan is unlike any fan I've ever seen. Nowhere else are guys arrested for throwing up on people intentionally. Philly fan has given us so many incredible moments. And for the record, I'm not saying that all Philadelphia fans are like Philly fan. I'm just saying every single town has an element or a group of over-the-top fans. Every town. But the very worst, or in this case, the very best of Philadelphia fan is better than anybody else's very worst or very best. Hence, Philly fan. I mean, how many groups of fans can you even single out like that? There's Raider fan, there's Philly fan, maybe Jets fan, Chowds. There aren't very many. Philly fan is still the top of the chain. Nobody can touch Philly fan. Yankee fan. You know, there's maybe eight or ten of them. If there's dozens and dozens or hundreds of teams nationwide, there's only maybe eight or ten fans. That you can send, single out. Packer fan. But Philly fan's still the top of the chain. Philly fan booed Santa Claus. Philly fan got tased. Philly fan yanked on a little girl. So Philly fan's the best. I love Philly fan. Philly fan got crowned by a bottle of Grey Goose. I can go on and on and on. You can't say that about Packer fan or Yankee fan. Or Gator fan. Right, so don't misconstrue what I'm about to say. I'm pro Philly fan. And when Philly fan steps out of line, I got to reference that. For instance, Philadelphia is in the Stanley Cup Finals. Great thing. You know there was a party on Broad Street. It's probably still going on right now. And if Philadelphia is in the Stanley Cup Finals, you know Philly fan is going to get some camera time. Philly fan's going to get some run. Philly fan will be in the limelight. And that includes female Philly fan. Another reason to love Philly fan. How many times are female fans included? Check out this clip. Let me lay this out for you. You can hear the audio, but the video is priceless too. It's a Philadelphia news broadcast. You know how this goes. They're in the studio. They're hyping up the big win. They've got their man on their street. The man on the street inevitably is in a bar somewhere where they're celebrating the big win. Imagine being in a Philadelphia bar after a big win. Tough gig. So not only does the anchor toss to the reporter in the field who's in a bar surrounded by allegedly drunken Flyer fans, the anchor instructs the reporter which patron to speak with. You know, that's one of those jerk moves where the anchor lets the reporter know, hey, I'm the boss of you. I'm in charge of you. I'm the guy making the big money, sitting at a desk, reading what somebody else has written for me. You're the slug who's in the street, who's not the star. All right? I'm Pacino. You're a slug. You're in the street, and you will do what I say, and you will interview who I tell you to interview. It's kind of a jerk move. You know, like the guy knows how to do his job. He's a reporter. Still, the anchor tells the reporter who to go to. The reporter does what the anchor says, and then this results. See, can you turn over your right shoulder? There's a young lady over your right shoulder. Yes, yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah talk, what, what, what's she think about the win? She's very, very happy. And oh, she's, she's happy. ecstatic. Oh my! What did you think about the win? Amazing. Oh my God! Amazing. Did, did we just get beef? No, no, anchor guy, you're live. I don't think they got that out. 
We went with the bleep. You didn't. So you've got the anchor telling the reporter who to go to. He turns around to get her response, and the very first thing out of her mouth is an F-bomb on live TV. Can you turn over your right shoulder? There's a young lady over your right shoulder. Yes, right there. Because that wasn't going to happen. That's female Philly fan. That comfortable, that loose, probably that drunk, going F-bomb. First thing out of her mouth. And the anchor's like, oh, oh my God! You wanted to talk to her. She was the one that you pointed him to. First word out of her mouth, F-bomb. Didn't even get hyped up. Didn't even work her way up to it. I mean... At least Chase Utley doubled back for his F-bomb. World champion. World champion. And he had to double back and he was in front of hundreds of thousands of people. This gal, the second she gets a live mic put in front of her, she just lets it rip. So the reason Philly fan rules... Check the scorecard. In recent, recent Philly fan history, we have the following. A dude getting brained by a gray goose bottle. Oh, I got that out of video. A dude intentionally vomiting on a father and his daughter. <laughs> Some kid running onto the field and getting tased. Then a second guy running onto the field in the very next game while fans chant for him to get tased. Taser! 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 And now, on live television, they go to a shot where a reporter turns to a young female fan and she goes, F-bomb. Can you turn over your right shoulder? No, no, Philly fan, you're bleeping amazing. Philly fan freaking rules. Especially female Philly fan. First word. First word, live TV. Just blurted it right out. What did you think about the game? Bleeping amazing! Amazing! 